Guys, 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 we're back for another Norm MacDonald reaction. We're going to react to Don't Laugh At That for this one. Um, I just got to say, all of you Norm MacDonald fans who are enjoying these reactions that keep sending me more and more stuff to react to, I just got to tell you, I love how much you love this guy because I feel you and I get it. He's hilarious. And a, a lot of times he makes me incredibly uncomfortable. And I freaking love it. It's just, it's brilliant comedy, man. So, been really enjoying it. Really appreciate y'all. Um, the past few, uh, the past, the several, the past several times where I've been waking up early to record these. So just, in, just in case you don't know, my daily routine is that I wake up at five thirty in the morning every morning. I meditate for twenty minutes. I pray, do all this stuff, and then I just jump on here and start watching these things. Knowing that I'm going to react to a Norm Macdonald video just has me psyched like every morning. So I love, I love the passion and dude. Homeboy's the man. Homeboy's the man. So, without further ado, let's check out Don't Laugh at That. Let's see who's gonna have let's see what's gonna happen today. Sorry, not that one. Let's here we go. Here, Adam, do a joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, a good name for a dog is Syndrome. That uh, then when he tries to attack someone, you can tell you can yell down syndrome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Okay. It's not. I mean, it's. <laughs> okay, this is the thing I gotta say really quickly before we watch the rest of this. So puns are like one of my favorite things. I just think they're hilarious. Maybe it comes with fatherhood. I don't know. Oh gosh, that was good. Yeah, that's like a it joke. was a little insensitive, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, some of the 200 Nigerian schoolgirls kidnapped by extremists in Nigeria have been forced to marry their kidnappers. And uh, worse than that, they've been forced to laugh at their husband's stories even after hearing them for the umpteenth time. Uh, you know something. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's but very they're, they're hard to make a joke about those girls who are kidnapped. When I hear about those things, that, it's that is one of the worst... You know, and yet you got a big laugh <laughs> on yeah, yours. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got, <laughs> now, as an old-timey broadcaster, do you have other old-timey broadcaster friends? Well, they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> you know, oh who would they be like? Tom Snyder? Was he a radio guy? I knew Tom guy? well. Sure. Arthur Godfrey was one of my Arthur heroes. Godfrey. Red Barber, the Dodger announcer. Yeah. I, I lived for radio and then television. And Mike Wallace was a great friend. I love Mike. He did me on 60 Minutes, yeah. and it was really great. They were very laudatory. Uh -huh. He did him? He said to me, we were so good to you, I'm going to kill the next three guys we do. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was a grand guy. I said, he had dementia at the end. <laughs> and, uh, that's <laughs> funny to you, huh? You know what, McDonald? <laughs> Yo. Man, see, it's first thing in the morning, and I'm wide awake now, because... Well, me. I want to tell you. No, it's a very odd thing to I say. If you're looking, <laughs> if you're looking to broaden your horizons, I don't think it's wise <laughs> to no. laugh. No, because at you someone just who just had dementia. Too, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at <laughs> that you said. Uh, he was you the best. Just said, I loved him. Mike it was Wallace sad. was a great guy. He had he dementia. At the end. It has heavy <laughs> uh, duty grilling grates. Why are you laughing? You think the grilling grates are flimsy? No. No, they're heavy duty grilling grates. They deliver exactly what you need to achieve when you need to achieve that perfect steakhouse flavor. Why are you laughing? You're making a mockery out of the man grate. I, I, I love, love this stuff grate. with the man grate. No, no, Albert Fish. Oh. You're a New Yorker. So, anyways, he was a child rapist and cannibal, as I explained. When he's a child Jesus rapist, you try not Christ. to laugh when he looks at you. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Seriously, I was about to be funny. like, are we going to laugh or not? not. Yeah. But, I know you, but I know you want people to laugh. Fish chose his victims. He only chose victims who were either mentally handicapped. Now, don't laugh at this next part. Please. <laughs> you know he wants you to, right? No. If you laugh at this next part. Okay. And I'm not Fish chose victims who were either mentally handicapped or African-American. Oh, come on. Why would you think that's funny? God damn, Fred. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was the worst part of the story. But why do you think he did that? What would be the explanation? Why would he only attack... Why, why would his victims that he chose only be either mentally handicapped... Oh, that's interesting. ...or African Americans? Because people don't, in those days, didn't care when those people were vanished. That's, that's you're right. thinking like right. Albert Fish now. 
prostitutes. That's why they kill prostitutes. That's right. Exactly. That's Nobody really cares nope. about prostitutes. Well, but you're exactly right. That's why Albert Fish killed only mentally handicapped <laughs> and <laughs> African Americans. What about? Okay. I thought you'd laugh at African Americans again that they were. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know him. I know he'll do something. That's. That's outrageous. How well, it's kind of outrageous. For you. Hey, for the ninth consecutive year, uh, Nick, JetBlue Air, Airlines ranked first for satisfaction among all North American airlines. But you know what ranked least in satisfaction? 9-11 Airlines. <laughs> what a terrible name for an airline. It reminds me of that tragedy. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the, I don't know, is this the same for y'all? It's I know that shouldn't be fun. It's not funny, but it's hilarious. I don't get it. Oof, we're gonna move on that one. Oh, 9 11. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't laugh at 9 11. What? Again. 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, <laughs> I tried to tell him not to go, laugh. Adam? I know. I walked through blood and bones in the streets of Manhattan <laughs> trying to find my brother. Jesus. Oh, yeah, he was in northern Canada. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is, Norm, is uh, Norm MacDonald Canadian? Because if he is, that changes everything. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, why is this? That's enough. Oh, man. That's just so weird how... How does he do this? Why is this funny? I don't get, I don't get it, but it's. Uh, you want to hear my impression of the That's nine? It's gonna be you if you don't lose weight. You want to hear my impression of the nine eleven call from Johnny Carson? Nine one one call. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. But nine eleven was a national tragedy. Yes, it was. Why did he laugh at that? <laughs> you said it. Okay, Johnny Carson died at 80 years old. Would you like to hear my impression? Were you in New York when the Twin Towers fell? No, I was uh, in uh, Los Angeles. Well, either way, it was a national tragedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was. I, yeah, I know. 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to hell. Oh, is that it? Oh, give me one more joke, man. Oh, man. Nope. I don't get it. I don't get why that was funny. But it was. Hit like, subscribe, send me some more, y'all, because, oh my gosh. I don't understand why this is funny. I love y'all. Much love. Till the next one.